What's going on everybody, welcome back. And today we're gonna to talk about what I do for EDC, specifically in the summer months. Now, I live in a state where in the winter it's below freezing and in the summer it's 122 degrees. And it's gonna be triple digits, 110 to 120 for me for the next four months of my life, which absolutely sucks. But I dress to the weather. So I'm not gonna go out there and be uncomfortable and wear long sleeves and pants. It's just not gonna happen. So what I also have to do is I have to change my gear accordingly. Now that doesn't mean I'm carrying a completely you know, insufficient amount of items or a completely different set of items. It's just there's a couple things that I may carry off body or in the vehicle, and then I may change what I'm carrying on my body depending on how light that clothing is. So typically for me, this is how I'm gonna be dressed. I've got you know, just a basic shirt, a hat, and then I've got some cargo shorts on here with, uh, with some basic pockets in them. And when I'm seeing a lot of EDC videos out there, I'm looking at how much stuff and I'm like, Do you, are you wearing like full kit just walking around the mall or something? And I think it's kind of unrealistic because you wanna carry enough things on you so you can react, but you don't wanna carry so many things on you that you don't know where things are or how to grab them or how to acquire them quickly because there is an amount of training under stress that would go into being able to access all these different things that we carry on us. Now my EDC gear is pretty light for the summer months. I'm gonna kind of pull things out. We're gonna look at everything up close as well because there are certain things that in the summer I will carry off body. Typically, I will never carry my gun off body. I can't say 100% never because there are times that dictate that. But as a general rule of thumb, I would say 98% of the time, my gun is on me as long as it's allowed to be where I am at. There are scenarios there where I do carry off body, but they are so few and far between. It would be something like going to the dog park in a pair of gym shorts. So very simple stuff. But to get into this, guys, we'll talk a little bit about what's probably going to be in my hand or walking around. And that is flat out going to be my notebook. Um, I hate trying to keep notes on cellular devices or thing because I've got big hands and my fingers and I just screw things up and I'm consistently misspelling things and stuff like that. So I like to write them down. Plus there is a lot of research out there that shows the neural pathways in your brain and the ability to retain knowledge does far better writing things down than it does putting them in a cell phone. I'm almost always gonna be wearing a watch, guys. Um, this happens to be a Luminox watch. Those Navy SEAL guys like them, but they're just an awesome watch. There's tritium in there. They're very bright, they last a long time. You can beat the tar out of them. Waterproof, they are just a great setup. Now, as far as what's in my pockets, let's go ahead and go with my wallet. And we will take a look at all this stuff up close. Pretty much matches my uh, little notepad there. Those are both from Pop-Off Leather. If you've never seen that stuff, it's well worth the money. You're gonna go through five wallets before you'll go through one of those. I know the upfront cost of those can be pretty crazy, but it's definitely awesome stuff. I'm always gonna carry a knife and I pretty much always carry my knife on the strong side, guys. And there's a reason for that. The knife that I have here with me today is my uh, SOG assist opener. I do carry a variety of different knife styles and there's a reason for that because some are a little bit more compact than others some auto openers, things like that. But generally, you're gonna know where your knife is. And I carry it on the strong side because I carry something else on my weak or off-handed side. And what that's gonna be is just a pen of some sort. And I don't buy the $45 and $90 pens that companies put out there. This is a $15, I think, Uzi brand pen. And I've had it for like two years, works awesome. And at the end of the day, we can get sticky, stabby, pokey with it. It's got that carbide uh, tungsten bit on the end for scarring, you can go through stuff. So definitely a good product and it takes refills that you can buy even at the grocery store. So as far as everything else guys, my cell phone is gonna be on me, just a Galaxy cell phone, nothing crazy. We'll take a look at that up close. And then my keys. Now there is something a little different with my keys because I've got so many dang different keys for things guys that these are the primary sets of keys I'm going to have with me. And then I have a secondary set that have different keys for locks or things around my property. Basic stuff here. And then I've got my little Olight on there. I'm not always the biggest fan of Olights, but this 1R EOS has won me over so many times because it has saved my butt more than once. So let's get down with the gun and what it is. It is my Glock 19 in a tuck tight appendix rig right here. So the way that I carry this guys is I have it set up with an APLC. I've got my Overwatch Precision Magwell. 
Um, it's got typically uh, Spear Gold Dot Plus P ammunition in it. And then I carry an additional mag, but this is the 17. So rather than carrying an extension, I just carry the 17 mag because it gives me the additional rounds that I need. Now I have done reviews on the Tuck Tight holster and the Overwatch Precision uh, base plates and mag wells, good stuff. Now that you kind of know the basics of it, guys, this is my pretty much hot weather gear. Now there's a slew of other stuff that's in my truck or in the bag that I carry with me every day, but I wanna take a look at all this stuff up close so you can kind of get an idea of the size of them and the longevity that you could get out of these items because these are all pretty old at this point, but they're still hanging on really well. So we're gonna get into these and check them out right now. Okay, so let's talk about this summer EDC stuff that I carry here, guys. So this may be a light for some people, but this is generally what I'm carrying when it's hot and I'm wearing shorts and kind of a basic t-shirt. So let's go ahead and get some uh, cell phone type stuff out of the way. Galaxy phone, got it in this Unicorn Beetle SUP case right here. I'm telling you, this thing, I used to buy those OtterBox cases. These destroy that and they are only like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So it's got an integrated screen protector plastic hard case and then a rubber surround. And the problem I had with other ones is that this rubber would really come loose all the time. I didn't find that on this. This is a little over a year old and it's got that clip if you want to use it as an exterior case. I drop this thing constantly, guys. And this thing is doing absolutely awesome. Hopefully it'll continue and I won't break my phone. So my wallet, this is from Popov Leather and this is their five card style wallet in here. You can see you've got a, a pouch here, a pouch behind that, pouch behind, and then a pouch here, and then just that front one. You can actually fit two cards in each of these slots and then one and some cash out there. And you can just take a look at the stitching on there. Very well done, all hand stitched. And this is that Chromexel leather, I think it's called. And this stuff is thick, but awesome. Not overly thick. Now they do have billfolds and other ones, but this one, Fits my needs. I like that kind of card style wallet better than billfolds or anything. Awesome little wallet, guys. Had this for about a year and it's doing absolutely awesome. I also have their notebook cover. So I really like this because I love writing things down because if I type them in my phone, oftentimes I'll forget about it or I just have such trouble typing on my cell phone because the screen size. Got a couple pen retainers right there. I keep some basic zebra style pens on there. I like to write with those. And it takes those Loesch term style notebooks in here for UX military guys. You'll notice that lone green and know where it came from right away. Got a couple card slots in here for, you know, maybe key entry cards or business cards, or if you carry this, it could be your license or something like that. And again, it's that Chrome XL leather and that outstanding stitching that they do on there. These things smell amazing. And as you use them, they just get more and more character in them. And I really like that that kind of worn leather look, you know, it's just really nice quality stuff right there. And then I always carry this pen on me as well. I know there's a lot of guys running those really expensive bolt pens out there. That's just not my thing, guys. Oftentimes I've seen people's pens walk away. So I keep this one on my body. Just an Uzi brand pen, as you can see right there. Nothing crazy on this, guys. Very simple pen, very nice taunt uh, clip for your pocket right there does have that uh, carbide bit there on the end should you have to etch or break glass or something. And then it's got these little marks in here which are like DNA retainers in case you uh, you know stick somebody with it. Very easy, you just twist it, you expose the writing tip, twist it all the way off, and it just takes those standard space pen um, refills. So you can buy them at the grocery store. Very simple, very cheap guys. You know, I'm not into buying stuff that's overly expensive if I don't have to. Now, the knife that I generally carry a lot is my SOG, my assist opener right here. Very nice. It opens very, very easily. Solid blade on there. This is the titanium version. They've got a couple different uh, versions of it. Nice serrated blade on there. You know, um, very good. Got some jipping across the top on the blade and the body of it on the front and the rear right there, as you can see. And then on the inside, so you can get a very good grip on this blade. Here's your release button to put it back so it's covered. You also have your seat belt cutter or you know 550 cord cutter or anything like that. You wanna lock that just like that. That's your lock button. Lock that up, you can grab it and you can cut and the blade will not open. So definitely do that if you're cutting something because you don't want the blade to open on you if you're trying to you know cut through something. Deep concealed clip on it. Very, very tight guys. 
just an overall good blade that wasn't too expensive. I'm not into carrying three and $400 knives because I break them quite often and I use them for things that maybe you're not supposed to use knives for. So I will leave links for that stuff down below guys that you can check out. Now my watch. So this is the Luminox. Um, these are actually really, really good watches. Um, I've had this one for quite some time now. The last one I had for about five years before I broke the uh, face on it, the bezel. Awesome. So each line in here has tritium in it. And then the hand dials are blue tritium and the rest of it is going to be the greenish. And you have your top mark right there, which is blue tritium as well. Works very, very well. It's an impact resistant kind of polycarbonite or something like that. You know, you can get, uh, you can get it with different uh, bands and stuff. This one just has the rubber one. Very good quality stuff there. You can't go wrong with one of those watches. Keys, they're keys like everybody else. Got a little cover over my uh, key fob for the car because I drop these things all the time or I'm throwing them across the room. But this little O-Lite on here, this 1R EOS. Now this thing is absolutely awesome. So it's a very, very small light. And you can see like next to my pinky how small this on. Got two different settings. So you go into the first one and you're gonna get a very low light, five lumen right there. And then if you go all the way, you get a hundred lumens and it's a very crisp, clean white light. And then if you have it just almost to be activated, you can use it kind of almost like a pressure. I usually keep it off pretty far so it doesn't go off. You can see, I mean, this light's about a year and a half old, starting to wear a little bit the coating but this thing's been dropped probably a couple hundred times. Works absolutely great. And then it is rechargeable, just like most of Olight's stuff right there. Very good little light. Um, it's kind of saved my butt a few times. I'm always getting the mail late at night or early in the morning before work or something, or after I get home from work, if I'm working a late shift or something. Very, very good little light for what you get. Now let's talk about uh, the EDC piece here, and let's talk about the ammo first. So in the gun, traditionally I'm gonna carry uh, my 19 mag, so a Glock 19 in there, obviously. And then I carry a Glock 17 mag, so I've got a couple of extra rounds in the uh, spare pouch right here. Now, the ammo that I carry, Spear Gold Dot Plus P. You check out the ballistics on this stuff, and I promise you I've seen these things um, in use, and I promise you they work very, very well. Very good ammo, pretty hot loaded, high pressure stuff. As far as the Glock 19 that I carry goes, Gen 4 guys, extended mag release right there. Overwatch Precision Magwell. I love these magwells. Great slimline design for EDC, but you still get a really nice little shelf in there. Fits. Uh, better turn that off, huh? Fits very, very nicely in here. Very nice design on the back with that uh, recessed set screw. Great design. Extended slide stop, slide release there. I do have the Glock Factory Night Sights on this one only because they haven't died yet, so why change when they're night sights? But generally, I will put night sights on an EDC gun of every kind. Got the APLC on here. It's a good little light. Um, I haven't had any problems with them. Functions well, you get good runtime, you get very nice light, very easy to activate. Very nice, crisp, clean, white light. Inside here, guys, this is pretty much all factory. I do not do... Um, the crazy stuff, it's got a polish job on it, but I do not do aftermarket triggers or anything on my EDC style stuff. Generally, can't say never, but generally because if you use it, you're going to lose it. This thing will be in evidence for years and you will probably not get it back anytime soon. As far as my appendix rig here, a sidecar style design, Tuctite Annex A2, very good holster. They do a great job on these. I do have a discount code um, that I can list down below for you. Very good adjustment here on the clips. So if you're wearing odd uh, odd angles or something, you can move these around. You do have level of retention adjustment. They have that kind of wide mouth design for both the uh, magazine and the gun. So you can really get that thing in there with ease. Great stuff overall, very good quality. I've never had any issues with the tux type stuff. Get that nice little raven claw. Then on the back, you have that integrated kind of hump. So that gun is sticking into you rather than out like that as you are wearing it. Now, if I'm running ultralight guys, I will run my Bravo Concealment Torsion 3.0. And I run this like this sometimes when I'm wearing maybe board shorts or something very, very light. And these holsters, I have found to just be great quality. I mean, 
they do a great job. They do very minimalistic style designs. They, they don't do a ton of guns or a ton of different light combos, but what they do do is absolutely awesome and they do a very good job at it. So a dual clip design here, very nice kind of tuckable loops. As you can see there, you do have a level of adjustment in this holster right there, but fits very, very well. They do leave room for a threaded barrel um, if you're into that style stuff, but just a very clean build on a holster. So that's it guys, that's generally what I carry. We'll go ahead, we'll get back up into the chair and we'll finish this up. So I really hope that helped you guys out taking a look at that stuff and kind of gave you some ideas, maybe if you were lacking a little bit of something or if you're carrying too much. Because if you're out there and you're carrying so much stuff that it's uncomfortable for you, that just kind of sucks. Now, granted, there are some things that you will have to carry at some point that will be uncomfortable. You know, bending over with an appendix rig on is not always the most comfortable thing, but that's how I choose to carry a great many times. So that's where my uh, ammunition and my gun is going to be. Now, as far as the other things out there that I've seen guys, all this craziness in these EDC videos, carry what makes you feel safe, carry what you are safe with, and carry what you feel you will need. And I know there's a great many people out there that carry tourniquets on them, that carry hyphen vents on them, that carry all kinds of different medical gear, and I do too. I have a medical kit exactly like my range one. It is in my truck at all times. On every gun belt that I have, there are tourniquets on there at all times. There are dedicated tourniquets in my truck. Now, if I'm going somewhere that I am a little bit concerned about, say certain parts of town or something, I am going to be carrying more gear on me. And the reason for that is, is because for that day, what I'm doing in the location that I am at, I may be at a higher risk. And I'm not one of those people that's so far down the rabbit hole that I feel that I have to carry this massive amount of gear with me at all times, or I'm just not gonna make it through a situation. Now, the other stuff that I don't have on me would be like a Leatherman, like those multi-tools, things like that. Now, in the wintertime, when I'm wearing pants or something, I have some more pockets or whatever, yeah, those are probably somewhere easily accessible on me. But in the summertime, those are in the bag that I carry with me on a daily basis. So let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious to hear what you guys carry with you. Get out there, have some fun on the range, guys. Stay safe, stay ready. If you like the content, subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, then uh, grab one of your EDC items and throw it a thumbs down button in an even number of times. And I will see you guys on the next one.